All right, this is the start of my drawer system. I obviously have removed the foam padding or kind of hard foam underlayment that was underneath the carpet. And I have made these cross beams and these cross beams line up with that support back there. And hopefully that support is strong enough. It should be and i've used construction adhesive for these cross beams this is a metal bar that is attached under here and put into a slot right here and a slot right here and this thing is totally sturdy that will not be as sturdy one of the reasons i put construction adhesive is just in case it vibrates it doesn't make noise so that is the start and I'll try to film the process as I go. I'm going to remove the rear seats. And so this will be a base. The base will go about to where those brackets are. And then there'll be drawers on top and the platform all the way to the front. That's the plan anyway. <clears throat> all right, this is what I have so far. I have Kind of the bottom, or actually not kind of, it is the bottom. These are the slides. This is going to be an upper slide out, not a drawer, a slide out. The lower one will be a drawer, and that'll be the bigger drawer. It's not perfect, but it should fit in there okay. And it's really heavy. I cannot believe how heavy this thing is and I know the weight is uh, not only am I using three quarter inch plywood but these things weigh a ton but they are so heavy duty they lock in and out if I pull it hard enough so it's locked out I can't slide it in and that helps if you're on a hill or something um, and technically you can sit on these because the capacity for these is 500 pounds so that's what i got so far i'm going to take a break and then i'm going to put this in there all right i can't believe it took me all day to do this just this so the base is in this thing is solid as a rock it will not move I, it is so solid and uh, slides are, of course are in now I have to make the drawers I'll make the drawers and then I'll make the top for the back half and I plan on doing I was contemplating having one piece go all the way across but I think I'm gonna do it in two just to make it easier because um, it's gonna be three-quarter inch plywood it's gonna be heavy and I think it just might be a little bit easier. So that's the plan. And anyways, I'm probably going to take a break now, have a beer. And let me straighten up a little bit. It's kind of a mess in here. <laughs> and that's it for now. All right, I've kind of completed the next phase. This is going to be the slide out. I think I talked in the last video about me being lazy and not having kind of two drawers. So how this works is there's going to be a piece that goes around here. It's going to be a cut out of the top piece. So it's all the same level. And then I'll try to do this with holding this. So that will have just the top 
piece on it. This drawer will stay right there. And we'll, we're thinking we can mount a cooler on top of this and then strap it down so we can have a cooler right here. And um, so that'll be open. I'll probably have to paint that just so it's not so ugly. And then what can happen? Let me clean the lens because it probably has a layer of dust on it. Um, this, try it this one handed, this comes out like this. And you see these slides lock in and out. So this, no matter what angle I'm at, this will not come out. And so I will have kind of a cutting board that goes on top of here with a hinge. And that cutting board will be kind of a prep area. So there's that. Um, so this will, remember this will be covered. Cooler here. Uh, cutting board here. Or um, put a stove on here. And so the stove will be sitting up here. Cooler here. And you can always kind of use what will be the top here to prep. Anyways, that's the setup. And let me try to do this one-handed. This drawer can also come out by itself without the top opening because the top will still be there in place. And this drawer will still work. So that's that for now. Now I have to mount that drawer because that's just sitting in there. And we'll go from there. All right, <clears throat> next stage is complete. I think I didn't record this yesterday, but uh, just in case. So tops are on, this is stationary. This one slides out. And the reason I did this is I can, we can sleep on it, but also we have a slide out for the cooler. So we'll put a cooler up here and I have tie downs and we'll strap it down. Uh, this drawer face is on. That one's not on. I'm still making it. It's drying over there with a little rubber strip on it. So let me try to open the, these one handed which I can't really do because both of these latches have to be done in order to pull it out. So I need both hands. So here we go. Still need to finish the inside of the drawer. It's locked out. It's a little dirty. I'll clean it. And put this one back in. We'll pull this one out. We'll pull the upper part out first. There's little latches under there. So this will be the cooler. And this will all be carpeted. I have to paint the inside of that. Or I might leave it. I don't know. It doesn't look terrible. And let's see. So this is plenty strong. Technically, you can sit on this because it should hold 500 pounds, but I don't think I'll sit on it, but it is strong. And then this lower drawer pulls out. And so we'll keep stuff in here, probably cooking stuff, since this is kind of a cooking thing. We might put the stove in here. I'm going to have a platform up to the top so we have another work surface. And maybe set the stove on top of that if we are out here cooking. So we'll have the cooler, the stove, and that can be another place where we can set stuff. And these pull out independently. They don't have to both pull out this way. So let me do that. So that can stay in place. And then we can just have this drawer here. I have to finish the inside of the drawers. They're all messy. So now I am going to do the inside. And so this piece of wood is mounted. There'll be a board that comes out here and stops probably right around here. And there'll be doors in the top. 
I can open and have access storage in underneath. That's the plan anyway. I'm also going to build a little shelf that goes across here. So when we're sleeping in here, we've moved the seats up and then we can set that shelf in there. I'm not quite sure how I'll do that yet. I might even have a flap that goes over and some legs. Anyways, that's it for now. The front platform is set in place, just temporarily screwed down. Still have to do that. It's always something. There's the legs. I will paint those. Those I took off my old system. That's why they're carpeted. So I'll paint those, I guess. Make it a little bit nicer. There we go. You can see how tight the fit is. I mean, I'm right against this. So, I could have done a little bit better job here. Um, but, oh well. The seat is all the way forward. If I move that back into a regular position, which is not necessarily how we'll sleep, um, then I'll show you the gap. There's still plenty of room, so you could actually recline the seat if you wanted to. And actually, it'll go back farther for tall people. Uh, I still don't know how I'm going to do... What I'm thinking is I'm going to have a hinged piece on here. Um, I might even have Velcro on it or something, so... This will be carpet, and then when I flip it over, it sticks, doesn't bounce around, and then flip over, and I think I'll have some pieces come out. Probably one coming out here, and maybe one here. I don't know about that. I could probably have a piece here, but I have this mounting piece here that I can move that. Anyways, there will be doors in the top, and that will be storage. That's what we got so far. All right, update on the drawer system. Uh, these drawers are pretty much done. I still call them around the corners just to make it look better. It serves no purpose really other than the stacks. And I didn't do such a hot job, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, I don't know what I did the last time, but I've taken this out and put some two by four behind here. So these are more sturdy these supports especially the front ones so those are much more sturdy i've also this is how i've i'm doing the hold down this thing's a little loose i uh put a little hook here i made some brackets for this i'll paint those later um but i just drilled some holes in a some flat bar and uh, cut it to little pieces and this is how it's going to be mounted that one's loose <coughs> i can tighten it better later but this thing absolutely does not budge i mean one bit i can't move this thing <laughs> and uh there you go so that's the latest update all right next phase kind of done I have the first door in. Uh, I also painted down there. I Actually, I think I showed you that. that uh, these are mounts sticking out for a the kind of headboard sort of thing that's going to flip over and rest on those just to give it a little bit extra room. This is the door I made. I didn't do the best job in the world, but it works. So they'll be, at, like I said, Numerous times before there'll be carpet over this whole thing. So I put this latch in and now I will have access to stuff down here. I may build some like separation divider so stuff just doesn't move around here. Um, but I'm not sure. But that's the hey name. <laughs> that's the underside. And I know I could have just left this. But that would be a lot of reaching. 
uh, especially if I want to use utilize all the space. You can see it kind of goes back in here quite a ways. Probably can't see it's probably too dark, but it does go back there quite a ways. Anyways, that's it. Another update soon. All right, this is the underside of the front cabinet. It's not perfect, and I'm just winging it. Oh, I see a spot I missed in paint. I don't think that's going to be seen anyway. It could be a lot better, but it's so sturdy, and I don't... I've contemplated making boxes underneath. These are the doors. And I've contemplated making boxes under there, but I decided not to. And just leave it open. Um, just to allow more room. I don't know. I thought about putting a face on it, too. I don't know. I'm going back and forth. Anyway, let that dry, and then we'll put it back in. All right. This is... Uh pretty much done uh, the paint is still drying so I've painted some of the edges carpets installed I still have some minor stuff to do like this um, these rails are to hold the um, cooler they're, they're called I think uh, L rails everything's looking good I don't really want to close this thing because the paint around the edges is still kind of drying. Everything's installed. Probably should paint those edges. Unfortunately, I already threw away the paintbrush. Oh well, not the end of the world. These will sit like that. When for sleeping, they'll be like that. Not perfect but not bad. And again, this comes out and unfortunately I dribbled paint, so I could take that off and sand it. There you go, drawer system pretty much done. Or sleeping system and drawer system. So, and I've already slept in the back of this and without the carpet and it was fine i cannot sit up in it i'm close but i cannot sit up in it and that's okay i can live with that it's nice to have the drawer space and there you go that's my drawer system <laughs>